Christmas tree ever. Whee! Hello, Lucy! Hi, everyone. What's that, Lucy? It's a surprise. Here, you hold on to this end, Boris. Ooh. And Nelson, you hold the other end. Wow. That's beautiful, Lucy. It's Christmas tomorrow. I've been making decorations and wrapping presents and baking star-shaped biscuits. You have been busy. Yes. I'm all tired out now. What I need is a nice, relaxing story. I happen to know a good Christmas story. Oh. It was winter in the mountains, and everything was covered with snow. Well, it's nearing the Christmas time, folks. How can you tell that, Randolph? Only little things an expert would know. Here we go. Like the snow crystals sparkling in the sunlight. Huh? Or the scent of the fir trees. Or how deep the snow is. <laughs> is it deep enough yet, boys? Oh, yeah. It's, it's going to be Christmas, Christmas any minute, minute now. It's time we got ourselves a Christmas tree. Yeah! You know the best places to find trees, babe. I sure do, Melanie. Follow me. Here we are, folks. See a tree you like? There are so many to choose from. Uh-huh. Don't like the look of that bark? Mm. No. Branch is not quite straight. They all seem nice to me. How about this one? Strong and healthy. No, the needles are too dark. I think we can do better. You know, I think we need to get a move on. You should tell Beverly. Um, Bev, we thought we should hurry before the bison get here. Randolph knew that the bison liked to celebrate Christmas too. And there were a lot of them. Is the one. It's beautiful. The best ever. Go ahead, Beverly. Hmm. Timber! Now we had to get back home. Hmm. Oh no! How are we going to cross? Don't worry, I've got an idea. <laughs> oh, that was a good idea, Boris. <laughs> now 
Now we have to find a nice spot for our tree. Let's try nearby the river. Um, okay. So, what do you think? This is perfect. Everyone will be able to get a good view of the tree. Christmas is about sharing, you see. <laughs> How lovely. Sure is a beautiful tree you picked us, Bev. Just need some decorations. Oh, yes. Let's go and find some pretty things. Melanie was excited, but the others told her that someone needed to stay and look after the tree, and she was just the moose for the job. Do I really need to stay here? I don't think the tree will run away. We went to a whole lot of trouble to find our tree, so we can't risk losing it. Thanks, honey. We'll be back real soon. Oh. Bison had arrived to collect their Christmas trees. Well, I sure am glad we got our tree before these critters showed up. Yes. Now let's go and get those decorations. We can split up to save time. Gina, it looks like we're too late. Daddy, where's that tree? Oh, don't worry, Barbara. Daddy will make sure we get a Christmas tree. Uh, yes, of course. This isn't the only place to find Christmas trees, you know. Follow me. Meanwhile, Beverly and Randolph were picking icicles. Alfie and Charlie were digging for fur cones. Oh. Oh. I was still looking for decorations for our tree. These maple leaves have been here since autumn. They should be just perfect. And Melanie was still looking after the Christmas tree, making sure it didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Dear me, Ma, we've looked everywhere for a tree. Seems there's not one to be had anywhere. I want a Christmas tree! Oh, Daddy, Mommy! Christmas tree! Christmas tree! Mm. Christmas tree! Is it her first Christmas? Christmas mm-hmm. Sure is. Yeah. She's been so looking forward to it, but we, we can't find her a tree anywhere. Melanie thought back to what Boris had said about Christmas being a time for sharing. And so, she made an important decision. You can have our tree. Oh, but we couldn't. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Ray! Christmas Ray! Mm. Oh, I do hope you enjoy it. Oh, we will. Thank you so very much. Hey, sure was a nice tree those guys had. Almost as nice as ours. <gasps> Melanie, where'd our tree go? I gave it away. You did what? Remember how you said Christmas was all about sharing? Yes, but we didn't mean for you to share our tree. Oh, there was a baby bison. And she didn't have a Christmas tree. And I thought she shouldn't miss out. Well, I think you did the right thing, Melanie. I guess you're right, Boris. But where are we going to hang these decorations now? There are no trees left. There must be something we can do. Yes. What else is big and has branches you can hang decorations on? Uh... My antlers can be our Christmas tree. Mm. Yeah! And so we started to decorate Melanie's antlers. Are you sure you won't get cold standing here like this, Melanie? I'm fine, Boris. We moose love the snow. <laughs> oh, there. 
there. Don't shake your head just yet. Mm. Okay, Melody. Now you can shake your head. <laughs> we all agree. Melanie's aunt was made the best Christmas tree ever. And that was my best Christmas story ever. I'm glad you liked it. Here are your decorations back, Lucy. You can keep them to decorate the zoo. Oh, thank you, Lucy. Better get some sleep now. Tomorrow is a busy day. <sighs> Good night, everyone. Good night! And happy Christmas, Lucy. Story of the Baby Bison. like to hear it? Yes, please, Boris. It was spring in the forest, and the last of the winter snow was melting. <laughs> <What? Very exciting. laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. This is so much fun, Charlie. <laughs> yes, Alfie. Share the snow's melting. There's just enough left for one last snowboard. Oh, look. What's that? It was a strange, brown, woolly creature. <laughs> Alfie and Charlie had never seen anything like it. Bobby catch butterfly. Yippity, yippity, yippity. Oh. 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 Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> oh, poor thing. <laughs> Hello. Barbara hurt head. Here, this'll make it better. I'm Alfie. And I'm Charlie. My name is Barbara Bison. We're Mama and Papa. I think you got lost, Barbara. I was only trying to catch butterfly. <laughs> Don't cry. We'll take you home to your Mama and Papa. 
but I don't know which way is home. Just leave it us. Alfie and Charlie. Chipmunk detectives. Hey, ho! First, we need a clue. Barbara, is there anything you can remember about your home? Um, yes, blubbly water. Blubbly water? Ah, oh, bubbly water. Follow me. And so Charlie and Alfie led Barbara to the river, which was full of bubbly water. Baba catch fishes. One happy baby bison. Where, well, Mama Papa? This not Barbara's home. Oh! <laughs> not to worry, Barbara. We'll find your home. All we need is another clue. Try to think. Can you remember anything else about your home? <sighs> yes. Yellow flowers. Aha! Then, to the right. This time, Alfie and Charlie took Barbara to the meadow. It was filled with yellow flowers. Oh, so pretty. Yippity, yippity. Oh. Yippity, 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 yay. Yippity, 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 yay. Barbara was having heaps of fun. But then... Barbara not like me. Barbara's mellow flowers. Get not Barbara's home. Well, we can't be far from your home, Barbara. Try to think of one more clue. Yummy grass. Straight ahead. Alfie and Charlie took Barbara deep into the forest. Here we are. Yummy grass. But what about Boris? Oh, 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 that tickles. Oh, oh, stop it. Oh, hey, that's my bed. Oh, sorry. Oh, hi, Boris. Uh, we're looking for Barbara's home. It's got bubbly water and yellow flowers and yummy grass. Well, this can't be Barbara's home because this is absolutely, most definitely, and completely my home. Oh. 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 <laughs> mm, why don't you try that way, over the hill? Barbara never see home again. Oh. Cheer up, Barbara. Remember, you've got Alfie and Charlie. Chipmunk detectives never give up. All we need is just one last clue. The chipmunks had reached the top of the hill. And they saw yummy grass, yellow flowers, bubbly water, and many, many bison. Barbara! Mama! Papa!
see you. We've been everywhere looking for you. Sorry, Mama, Papa. Papa wanted to catch butterfly. Next time you see a butterfly, we'll chase it together, honey. Okay, Mama. Oh. Thank you for bringing our Barbara home, boys. Another mystery solved by Alfie and Charlie, chipmunk detectives. Hi! Oh! Yippity, 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 <laughs> That's how the baby bison got back home to her family. What a brilliant story, Boris. Now I need a mystery to solve. Oh, dear. Nelson has disappeared. This is a case for Detective Lucy. Hmm. 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 Ah, round nails, big feet, a trunk. It must be an elephant. <laughs> 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 Very clever, Lucy. And now, time for bed. <sighs> Good night, everyone. Sleep, dreams.